Hi, welcome to Foch Farmhouse Creations. Today we're going to make chocolate cherry oatmeal almond cookies. They are so delicious. My family loved them and they were really popular on my Instagram page. So I thought I would show a tutorial on how I baked these. Take your butter and your sugars and add them to your mixing bowl and you're going to want to cream them together till you get a really nice blended consistency. I blended mine on the number two speed. Once your butter and sugars are creamed together, you're going to add your extracts into the mixture. The recipe calls for one teaspoon each. I usually just eyeball them when I add them to my mixtures, but if you feel more comfortable using the actual teaspoon, that's fine too. Now for this part, you will want to add your egg to your ingredients. I have to use egg replacer because my son is allergic to eggs. So you take one and a half teaspoons of the energy egg replacer and two tablespoons of warm water and you're just going to give it a little whisk so it has the runny egg consistency. Now if you're just using a regular egg, go ahead and crack it into the batter right now. But if you have to use an egg replacer like me, you'll want to set it up before you add it into your mixture. Once you have this nice creamy batter, go ahead and add your flour and your oats. Just make sure you add them little by little. I have found if I add it all at once, I start to get clumps and when it's mixing, it doesn't distribute evenly throughout the batter. That's what I have found in my baking anyway. And also don't forget to add your baking soda and your salt. Once your batter is fully mixed, you're going to want to fold in the diced cherries and the chocolate chips. Just add them to the bowl and use your spatula to push them evenly throughout your mixture. Once your batter is ready for the cookie sheet, you can transfer it onto a regular cookie sheet right out of your scooper or you can place them in a shaped pan like I did to make it a little more fun. And here are the finished cookies. They are so cute and so delicious and will be a big hit for Valentine's Day.